things to do with spiritual growth and um, spiritual awakening are often triggering, very difficult. It's designed to be because it's supposed to wake us up and it's supposed to help us to overcome um, our lower aspects of self so that we can raise ourselves into a higher vibration, raise ourselves into higher consciousness. I'm aware that this is incredibly difficult. Um, it's difficult for me, it's difficult for everyone. But as we learn the tools and as we get stronger, we get more skilled, then we become more powerful, we become more aware. That is the, that's the whole point of it. So you're not gonna expect to become your best self without you know some hardship and some difficulties. The scripture says, the race is not given to the swift or the strong, but to the one who endures to the end. I do wanna say thank you to everyone who supports this channel. I can't do it without you. I noticed that the my, my viewings are going down. Some people are saying to me, they're not getting my videos. Um, and we know that there is a, a shadowing of, of um, people who make content like mine. So I would ask you to please like, share, subscribe, um, help this channel to grow. I cannot do it without you. So in this video, I'm talking about the law of attraction and repulsion. I'm also talking about co-creating with source and co-creating with other, meaning other humans. Okay. In this video, we're talking about the law of attraction and repulsion. And we're also talking about co-creating with source and other or others. And a lot of people talk about the law of attraction, but not too many people talk about the paradoxical side of that law, which is the law of repulsion. We also have to bear in mind that when we are co-creating with source and with other, that we might be creating longing, um, which is the longing comes from the soul. So this is a soul drive. You know, sometimes when you, it's like you're possessed by an idea, you know, it didn't come from you. You know, that seed has been planted in you. But there's also desires that we might um, try to co-create. Those desires come from our personal ego. Okay, so that's something to bear in mind. To give birth to new paradigms, all construct must be demolished. So if you're experiencing a longing from the soul to create something meaningful, but you're reluctant, you might find that your life is smashed to pieces and you have no choice but to create something new, to move into that new phase of your life. So this is like when spirit is giving you a push, much like a mother pushes out the baby bird out of the nest when it's time for that baby bird to take flight. With this push from spirit, we will either consciously choose to ascend to higher consciousness or we will unconsciously fall deeper into our lower 3D self where we are so low, it is so much harder to elevate ourselves from that position. It is normal to experience some level of fear or anxiety when we are called to ascend to the next level of our evolution. You are not weaker than anyone. We all have an ego mind that loves to traverse what we already know. Because staying in one's comfort zone gives a false illusion of power. And the lower self loves to feel powerful. When the lower ego doesn't feel powerful, it will polarize to the other spectrum, which is despair. So the opposite of feeling powerful is feeling despair. And this is the reason why we hate growing out of our comfort zone. This is why we feel weak and helpless at times. No matter where we are on our journey, we are all being pushed out of our comfort zones so that we can grow and learn. To paraphrase Zoroastra, 
and Hermes, every stage we reach on the journey is yet the beginning of a new climb. So understand that you are not alone in feeling exhausted, fed up, bruised and battered. After which time we grow stronger, we become wiser, we expand in consciousness and we become more effective. Co-creating with the universe. The co-creating process is threefold. Stage one, conception. Stage two, construction. And stage three, delivery. So in stage one or part one, we have conception. Conception is when you conceive an idea. So the universe has given us all a mind and all our minds are equally powerful. We can think up, as they call them, dream. <laughs> we can dream about or plan in our minds what is it that we want to achieve in our lives. So whether it's a particular type of relationship or we want a business or we want to have better health. These are things we can think about. So in the conception stage, we are thinking about our ideals and we are also thinking about what we will do to attain it. What do we need to attain our ideals? Like what material do we need? What type of people do we need? We, are, we have to think about whether or not we are ready. And if we're not ready, what do we need to get ready? Like, do we need to get educated? Um, do we need m new skills, etc.? In part two, or stage two, we're um, in the construction phase. So in the construction phase, we are getting ready. So in the construction phase, you might not have everything you need to complete the task, but you will have what you need to start or you will have what you need to start getting ready. Once you start the process of acting, the universe will act with you and the universe will furnish the things that you need. Okay. This stage is very tricky and can be very painful because the law of attraction and repulsion is in play during this phase. So you're going to find that you're going to be repelling some people. You're going to be attracting new people. Um, in our uh, 3D dimension, two things cannot occupy the same space at the same time. And therefore, um, the old things have to be removed for new things to come in. Okay. So here's a couple of um, examples. Example one, if you want to have better physical health, OK, it would mean that you would have to give up some of your old patterns. Um, it would mean that you have to give up your old lifestyle and create something new. That means um, you will have to repel some things. You will have to do that consciously. OK, let's say that you wanted a healthy relationship. You want healthy relating. It will also mean that you would have to give up your old unconscious patterns of relating. OK, and you would have to do that consciously. So if you don't make conscious efforts to co-create with your partner in the universe, you will manifest a deformed relationship, much like a deformed fetus that would result in miscarriage or painful stillbirth. And this is why um, a lot of relationship ends really badly, because we have been relating unconsciously and we did not want to um, change some things or didn't know we needed to change some things. Reason being that we did not know about our shadow. Our shadows <laughs> will create repulsion. Um, it's funny because our, our, our shadows also attract, <laughs> which is um, too, uh, a little bit more complicated to get into. Um, but, um, our shadow is often what is repelling your, um, your partner. So consciously you may like someone unconsciously, unconsciously your shadow might be repelling that person. Okay. Shadow integration is very critical in this stage. Shadow integration is critical in all stages of our life, but particular, 
um, very much um, important in creating um, successful relationships or maintaining uh, and successful meaning loving, harmonious, trusting um, and nurturing relationships. As the shadow will be the cause of uh, much turmoil, unnecessary dysfunction, setbacks and destructive energy. Okay. If you're trying to co-create a healthy relationship and you're not in touch with your shadow or your partner's shadow, shadow, this is going to cause a lot of pain and damage. Also, you cannot co-create or consciously co-create something positive with an unconscious person. Okay. To co-create a beautiful, secure, loving relationship, both parties must be willing to address their own shadows and also the shadows of their partner with love and kindness. So example three is business. So the more people you need um, in order to co-create is the more complicated it's going to be and it's the longer it's going to take in order to bring it to fruition into this 3D realm. So it you will need to have patience, perseverance, expect setbacks um, because this is normal. Do not let your egotistical lower emotions such as shame or embarrassment be your downfall. Those feelings are expressions of our personal shadow and at times an expression of our collective shadow as we become overly concerned about being laughed at, um, about being humiliated, because we have tried and we haven't succeeded. Part three or stage three is manifestation or delivery. This is the stage where you bring your beautiful end product into the 3D realm. When we manifest with a conscious intention of benefiting the collective, we will yield a tremendous spiritual upgrade because we're adding to the collective evolution of all beings. I hope you found this video informative. Um, do leave me a comment, let me know what you think. And until next time,